video is sponsored by Skillshare. Check the link down below because the first 1,000 grains will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Hey grains and welcome to another Resin Adventures. Adventures! And today we're going to be making, or at least trying to be making, light bulbs out of epoxy resin. I've never made light bulbs before so this is a little exciting for me and I'm a little, a little nervous. Just a little. Just a little. I don't have much experience with resin, so this is gonna be fun for me because it's super artsy and fun. Yeah, I think so too. I'm Jackie. And I'm Sika. And as you can see on the desk here, we have a resin light bulb making kit. I got this off of Amazon for about $18. $18. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. We're on sync. But I have seen the same mold for $1 on Wish. Oh wow. So, yeah. I mean, if you have the time to wait for it, you're saving $17. Otherwise, I got it on Prime and it just took two days, so mm. it depends on your priorities. My priorities were impatience. <laughs> You're laughing at me. I'm pretty impatient too, so yeah. I feel that. So, yeah, I, I wanted it. Aujourd'hui est Lola. Comme Lola. Lola. For those of you who don't know, resin is a liquid substance, chemical part A and part B, that when you mix together... Oh, we had two different ways of mixing. I did this. I did this. We mix it! We, we go, go mix, mix it! it. <laughs> this liquid can become into a kind of plasticky glass and you can make so many amazing projects. Past Nerdy Crafter used to make so many different kinds of aquariums sure. and water environments. So you can see them all here if you're interested in old school Nerdy Crafter. I must warn you, it's a little cringy, but feel free to watch it. Otherwise, recently we've also done quite a few resin projects. Yep, we've made a cube. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, knives. <laughs> I don't remember the last thing we made. We also made resin pens. Oh yes, it's true. So we will link all of these down below. So if you're curious to see our resin and crafty journey, make sure that you do subscribe and hit the all notification button while you're there. Otherwise we will wave sharp pointy things. No joke. Don't make us do it. Don't make us do it. You don't, don't want this. Don't do it. No. It's don't make us do it. No. So in this kit, the concept that they show us is basically a rainbow-esque kind of level? Yeah, I think so. It's just chopped up colors. Yeah, just chopped up colors, but we're extra. We gonna do it differently. We gonna do it very differently. Very differently. Because I'm special. We special. We special. Yeah. Yeah. So Sika and I are going to be using the two different molds. I'm going to go with the traditional kind of bulby bulb. And I'm just gonna go with the other bulby bulb. I'm we're just using two different bulby shapes. Bulby bulbs, we're just using two bulbs, okay? La? You're very French today. What? <laughs> <laughs> so for my idea, or the concept at least I'm trying to make, is I want to make a fish tank. So we're gonna get to that when we get to that, but Sika's going to also explain her concept. So this is the bulb I will be using, and I think I'm gonna be using the exact same concept of my knives, but I'm gonna be a little bit better hopefully this time because I don't want my flowers to rot. <laughs> so that means we need to go outside. Let's go. What up? <laughs> So here's a wild Sika hunting for her next thing. Shouldn't we have brought scissors for the grass? No. No? Do you want me to? Are you just gonna rip them off? Yes. You're just gonna rip off the grass. <laughs> All right, so these flowers. Oh, can oh, you see it? Oh, I, I, can you yeah, see it? I'm trying. Can, I'm trying. can you see it? I try. See it? Oh, no. Can you see me? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I got a little dizzy. And now instead of taking from the neighbors, she's taking my fire. I did not take it from the neighbor last mm. time. You're such a liar. Oh, no. We all Ooh. saw it. Oh, no. You watch your mouth. You. you know what? Play it back. <laughs> It's not the neighbors, <laughs> it's on your side of the fence. And now we're whipping grass. Oh my gosh, by the handfuls. I hope it's not an ant's hill. I hope not. I don't have any bugs in here yet. Now that we're back, I think it's going to be a good idea to find out whether or not these little light LED lights actually work because the instructions say... <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> that the lights are activated with a tap. That's it. So we're going to remove the, well, make sure that the battery, oh, oh okay. No. Wait, oh. oh. <laughs> so easily entertained. We're so entertained. Okay, so tap. Wow. It was just one tap and that is really bright. Damn. And tap again. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. Okay, that is cool. You wanna try? Okay. Easy, easy. <laughs> Too aggressive. You just put it down and it, it's oh, wow. pretty sensitive. It's really, yeah, it's really sensitive. Look, that's interesting. Look at that. Why are we so easily entertained? I feel I like, don't know I, feel like yeah. now, uh... I could be like. So for Sika's project, this is basically what she's using. It's all natural stuff. I'm really curious where it's going to go because the first one she did with all natural things, there was some mishaps. Mm -hmm. Nature was not okay with it. And it went like, no, no. 
And then my flowers wilted. That's no, they, they changed colors, they, basically. They rotted. No. I don't know. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I'll be using a mini environment area. It's gonna be a little glass. So my first layer is gonna be bark. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We're hoping to do it with UV resin just to get the first layer out. Yeah, that's true. So, But we... we're not sure if it's gonna bubble. Yeah, we're not sure. So Sika wants the first layer to be bark. Just bark. Bark and sparkles. Yeah, so we're thinking UV resin should work, but, but we'll have to see. We're worried it might shrink. So this is where we're going to experiment. If it looks like poo, we gonna take it out. Oh, we gonna use three in one resin. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So first things first is Sika's going to go ahead and cut the little barks because she wants them to be at the bottom, but also not sticking out in different ends. They just want flat bottom, is that correct? Yes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use the UV resin. Sika really wants to mix them together, absolutely. But when working with UV resin, definitely make sure that you work in thinner layers. Yeah. Yeah, thinner layers. Otherwise, it might crack. For those of you who don't know the difference between epoxy resin and UV resin, epoxy resin, you have to mix both parts and then it hardens. Whereas UV resin, you basically, it's Curate. one part. Yeah. Well, yeah. you cure it with UV. Ah! <laughs> UV resin hardens with either sunlight or a special UV light, and it's much quicker. Since we said our priority is speed, Zika definitely wants to see if she can cut some corners. Thank you! No! <laughs> you're not sure what you're doing right now. <laughs> I'm just mixing it. Okay, she gonna mix it. I gonna mix it. So here we have the bark. You're really going for everything at once. Yeah, because the more you mix it, the more likely you're gonna get bubbles, no? Mm, that's actually pretty true. I was smart. She is smart. Mm. That's enough. Okay. For now. I feel like you need more bark. Probably, yes. Yeah. We oh, you're not joking. Look at you. E. All of it. We're going to chunk it out. We're going to chunk it. Now for the moment of truth. Sika, how do you feel? I don't know. I'm going to probably get it all over the side. Just try to guide it with your popsicle stick. That's very chunky, that's, though. Yeah, there you go. That's it. There you go. My, you got it's it. Chunky. Okay, that's enough for one? Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Okay. Okay. You did good. I think so. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time for the UV light. Sika, turn it on. Oh, that is that is lit. I'm really curious if it's actually going to cure or if it's going to get too bubbly or... You know what? We'll find out soon. And just to be safe that the underneath is fully cured, go ahead, Sika. We're going to just turn the light on. <laughs> it's right, it's right there. Oh, I was like, where's the it's button? Right there. <laughs> And here's what it looks like after one layer. I think we're gonna go with the second one. So here we are with the UV resin that's been cured. It did retract a little bit. Yeah, so you can see the difference between the one that's really stuck onto the mold and the one that kind of shrank. That's just what UV resin does. My next layer is going to be a clear layer. So I'm not too worried if it does end up leaking onto the sides. It'll kind of just gloss it, I think, right? Yeah, maybe it'll even give it like a little texture, like raindrops. That's not what I'm going for. <laughs> but Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. go with the flow. The flow, go. you go, go with, with it. it. <laughs> but now, the next step for Sika is exactly what I'm a little interested by because, again, she's You don't going, believe in me. I don't, she doesn't believe in me. I don't know how it's going to work. She wants to make like a... Like a mini terrarium, I guess. So an extra environment on the inside of the resin inside this little bowl here. So technically, it shouldn't get resin inside. And I'm hoping that my flowers don't rot. <laughs> so in essence, what Sika wants to do is she wants to put grass and flowers in here, cover it up, and then put it inside the resin. So this little container is actually going to be resin free and it should look like the items are floating yes because of the glass i think it's a very clear glass so the resin is just going to coat it and it's going to disappear yeah it Hopefully. should in theory glass should disappear in resin so it's going to be really cool but i'm really curious how it's going to work you're not curious you're skeptical I'm, right now you are a f liar. No, whoa you're whoa skeptical. whoa why you gotta be skeptical what why just a little bit like this much you traitor no you traitor no so my question to you Sika, is do you actually want to keep it like this or do you want to push it up and have the resin encase it. We're not sure if it's gonna encase it or make bubbles though. Yeah, we don't know. So I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Do Let's it. make Sika's mini environment within the environment. All right. On top of being a mystery to me, Sika really wants to decorate her little glass, even though it's gonna <laughs> disappear. Are you doing it on the inside? Yeah. You don't want to decorate the glass on the outside? No. Okay, Sika. It's not happening. I didn't My fingers think so. are sticky. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Maybe if you listen to me. I don't wanna. Okay. So this is basically why I wanted to do that. My sister was like, no, don't get yeah, it. I still don't get it, but I guess I'll see once it's unmolded, right? I guess. All right, let's stuff your stuff in there. By the way, the reason Sika's thumbs are green. Just one thumb. Just one thumb. <laughs> it's because- I have a green thumb. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh no. 
is because she ended up dyeing a piece of cotton so that she can put it on the inside just to avoid some kind of moisture from the plants. And con 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 condensation. So we've switched spots. I'm over here, but I'm supervising. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to start with putting in my flowers, although I can't put in all at once. So I'm gonna start with half. I mean, it's an interesting idea. So I'm really, I am as curious as you grains are because this is completely new territory. I've never thought of putting a glass jar within the resin. my resin. Let's see how it works. So she's stuffing grass. <laughs> she's, look at all that. Look at that. She's stuffing <laughs> I like the little spider fingers in there. And then she's going to go ahead and put some of this. Yeah, to hold it in place and then do the other side. This is hard. I should have probably cut my grass. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to cut your grass? Maybe. Give me a second. <laughs> so here we are 45 minutes later. It was being difficult and you told me don't make that much fluff and then I made two little fluff and then I had to remake fluff and then I had to wait for it to dry. It's your fault. <laughs> and... No! <laughs> Let's, I'm gonna expose you! No! <laughs> All right, so um, this is what I'm exposing Sika. First she had one green thumb, <laughs> and now all her fingers are basically green. That's because you told me not to make that much fluff, and then I needed that fluff, so you lied. You lied. Whoa. So my hands got dirty Whack. because you told me, no, you're making too much fluff. But I actually needed that fluff. <laughs> wow. So what we're going to do now is just basically seal in a piece of plastic sheet inside that mold so that things are a little bit more compressed. I don't know how long it's gonna survive, but we'll have to find that out. <laughs> we'll see together. So now the next step is trying to get this ball of floaty thing into here with as little damage as possible to everything. That's gonna be hard. Yeah, she chose this. I did not impose this project on her. Just gotta push it in there. But in order to keep it in place, we have to put a little bit of the UV resin. And hope it leaks out at the right time. Yeah, just, that's it. That's it? I, maybe a little more. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. You got this. <laughs> okay. Just don't ruin my felt. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm so nervous. No, you got this. Okay. That's it. Be gentle. You got this. <laughs> gentle, gentle. Now gentle. Get your finger in there. You got this? Yeah, but it's just not centered right now. Oops. That's okay. If it's not centered, we can nope. center it. There we go. Now it's centered, I think. As centered as I can get. Yeah, that's pretty centered. And now let's just give it a couple... Wait, okay, wait, 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 no, 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 don't, don't, not yet. Let the resin leak down first. <laughs> Calm your Hakuna Matatas. Oh, oh. Give it like 30 seconds and then we can go ahead and shine the light. Pretty good. I tried. I hope there's enough resin. So I think Sika feels confident enough that it has been. I don't hardened. know if I'm confident enough, but I guess we'll. Well, you did shine the light for like a minute. Yeah, about. Okay, so what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna tip it over how Dairy Queen does it. So let's you know see. how Dairy Queen just goes like, whoop, and then you're like, oh, my ice cream. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Yep. Ready? Yeah. I'm nervous. I'm nervous too. Okay, ready? Go. Okay, oh, I stayed. <laughs> we're good. Yeah. Okay, we're good. So as usual, we're going to be using Sophie and Toffee's three to one resin. I love this resin because it is just so wonderful. It has the least amount of bubbles possible. So we're basically mixing it up, pouring it into the mold, and Sika's putting some of the glitter. Yes. And now, now we're gonna wait for we her to wait, wait to, to harden. We're gonna wait for we're it. We're gonna wait. And then we're gonna continue. And then we're gonna continue. So Sika decided that she's actually going to push here and get the resin right under it. There you go. Look at that big bubble yeah, right there. Get that one too. Come on, buddy. <laughs> So we've run into a bit of a problem. Sika, what happened? It keeps floating. Yeah, so it's kind of floating back up. So interestingly enough, oh. resin does not sink in resin. I have an idea. What's the idea? What if we put elastics around the base to hold the base down in the same area? Yeah, it might create an indent. Is that okay with you? I mean, if it's the indent on the brown part, it won't look bad. It'll just kind of look like a slight in the dirt. Yeah, let's try that then. So in essence, I think it's good to know that resin floats in resin. I don't think I've experienced this before because I've made clay in resin and it didn't float. But yeah, so Sika's gonna be here. Keeping it in check. Keeping it in check. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and make my first layer. <laughs> so now for my part, which is an aquarium and hopefully a lot simpler than Sika's projects. I like to complicate my life. Yes, you do. Mine is basically going to involve some Okinawan sand, moss, a little bit of treasure, and I also want to make a fish on the inside. So it's really going to be a simple tank. Hey, I got the information, okay? Okay. Just stop it. You know, we're gonna see at the end once we unmold both of them. <laughs> so for this, I went ahead and already mixed up my resin and I'm going to add the Okinawan sand. Look how gorgeous. 
It already looks like little starfish. How cute is it? It's adorable. Oh my god. She's judging me. Come here. <laughs> All right, so now I'm pretty nervous because I want to put the sand in there, but also, you know what? Let's just take one step at a time. Do you need help? Mm, no, I got this. Oh my god, you're making me nervous. I really don't know if I have enough sand. But let's just... Let's hope. Let's hope. There we go, I got it. So this is what the inside looks like so far. But as you can see, the issue is that the sand is really at the bottom. It's a little hard to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down these bad boys in the middle and try to push the sand upwards. All right, so let's put this rock in. And the next one. Too much rock? No such thing. Okay, and then we're going to move this a little higher. Hopefully that's gonna help. I know you grains can't see this, but I'm trying. I can see you're barely trying. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Try harder. I'm trying. So far, so good. And because I'm a sucker for all things treasure, let's go ahead and drop some of these seashells and pearls right inside. All right, little one, in you go. So far, so good. I put in some also crushed shells as blue over here. This is really challenging. Since these molds are not transparent, it makes it so hard to show you the exact journey. Even our faces are like right in that little... Yeah, we're like really hovering and trying to see what's going on inside. Yep. No, yeah. I keep standing. I'm just like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't see what's happening. I have some moss, but luckily there's this one really long one. So I'm going to let it dangle in there and then the rest kind of hanging outside. So I just kind of want to push it in here. Okay, so what we're going to do, hang on. Oh no, I can't see. I can't see. So I'm just going to do this. Let it sit a little bit in the resin because I want it to float like so. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> like so. And then I'm going to tape this here so that it's constantly floating upwards. And here we go for the moss. Now I'm just going to let this sit for, I would say at least six hours. And then let's go ahead and put the next uh, layer. Yeah, but first let's make our fish. I like how you have no idea I'm looking at you here. If <laughs> <laughs> You're putting one glitter at a time. Yeah, I don't want it to fall in weird. That's one glitter at a time. Yeah. It's like Mariah Elizabeth and putting one sprinkle at a time. Does she? <laughs> yeah, she legitimately puts one sprinkle. It's because I don't want to go like over and then it's like Okay, let's, you know? let's see it a little closer. So Sika wants to put one flower on each side and the best way she thinks she wants to do it because it's kind of goopy but she doesn't want it to fall down so Sika what are you doing some UV resin right there mm-hmm right there and barely fitting yeah you got it come on buddy. all right shine your you want me to shine ah. the light oh no, no. I'm gonna sh shine I'm shining shine. Shine. I feel like you're not gonna get any resin in front you're not listening to me at this point <laughs> I'll, I'll hook you up, I'll hook you up. So I would say my biggest concern is that when we put the last layer of resin that it won't actually go in front of the flower, but Sika seems to be pretty confident. I hope it's gonna work. I hope so too. And now we wait overnight. So here we are the next day, Sika's preoccupied doing other things. But in the meantime, my mold has, well, the resin in there has hardened and it is ready for our fish. I'll be honest, I'm not gonna sit here and give you a tutorial of how to make a betta fish, betta beta. I'm not, I don't remember, call it whatever you want. I'm gonna keep messing up the name anyways. In an old school nerdy crafter tutorial, I do show you how to make your own fish. It's been so long, I have to follow my own tutorial. And I really wanted a kind of fish that would be flowy and really cute on the inside. The challenge is going to be fitting it in through this hole. That's what he's so as you can see, as I'm making it, I'm basically taking translucent clay, shaping it up as I want, and then using alcohol inks to color it. Of course, you can use paint if you want, but I decided to go that route. Once it was the way I liked it, I went ahead and baked it for 20 minutes. So here is my little fishy all nicely done. And if you notice, I did put a little base at the bottom. So that way, when I put it inside the mold, look, it stands. It stands on you its own. You are smart about it. I'm clever sometimes. 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 Not every day. Maybe 10% of the time. Probably. The other time, I'm not even there. The other time, she takes out things from the oven with her bare hands. Yeah. True story, actually. <laughs> it's okay, neither am I. I've done it too. Oh. <laughs> Sisters unite. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below, what dumb thing have you done recently? <laughs> All right, so I think this is going to be the challenging part, which is getting it inside the mold. Get I feel it. like I'm hiding behind this. Oi, can't we remove it? I'm pretty sure we've removed this one. There you go. 
we can see your face again. Okay. So while I was crafting, I definitely kept measuring to make sure that my fish can go in. Definitely not this way, but look at that nice and clean entry. But I'm not gonna just put it in there. We gonna UV it in there. We gonna UV it in there. The same way that Sika did for her light bulb, well, her bulb thing. We're gonna put a little bit of the UV resin right underneath, and then I'm going to try and put it in here as gently as possible so that it is straight in as, the middle. I don't know if it's gonna be graceful. We do what we can with what we have. We're trying. We're trying. <laughs> the fins. I need to be gentle. You gentle? I know. So as you can see, here it is. And I'm bringing it as close as possible to the edge so that we can see it properly. Time for UV light. There. <laughs> All right, so I think my fish is pretty stable in there. The last thing we want is for my fish to float. Not a good idea. If your fishy floats, isn't he gonna go? Yeah, if my fish starts <laughs> floating, it's gonna go on its side. So it's gonna look like as Red if you fishy. really put a fish inside a light bulb. It's gonna be, it's gonna be gone. Rip fishy. Bye fish. Rip fishy. Put your hand together. <laughs> Dear fishy of evermore. You tried. You tried. <laughs> Now the next thing left to do is basically mix our resin, pour it in, and then we gonna wait. We gonna wait. We gonna wait it out. But for you, you don't gotta wait. No, you get this all in one. Oh, okay. All, all in, in one. All in one part. <laughs> all in one part. <laughs> hey you, are you tired of crap kits that just don't offer anything awesome? And after you finish the box, you're pretty much left with nothing else to do? Well, we have the thing for you called Not Another Crap Kit. In this box, you'll get over six and a half pounds of craft and art supplies, an awesome exclusive mold that you can turn into a figurine that looks like this, that you can customize to creatures that look like this. But be quick because we have limited quantities. Links will be in the description box below. 24 hours later. So our resin has fully hardened. Mine is a little bit, you could kind of make an indent, but I think they're ready to unmold. And we're going to start with Sika's because I'm really excited to see what, <laughs> what this... happened here. Yeah. I know, I'm really... I, we have to take off the elastic first. Yeah, and then mine, I'm really scared because look at all, all the, the bubbles. bubbles. Yeah, the same thing happened to mine up here too. Yeah, so. I'm thinking it's probably because of the curve. That's where the bubbles are. Mm, okay, okay, you ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh. Oh, the mold. Oh no. You okay? It looks like a rocket ship. Yes. Ah! You got it? Ooh. No. Oh, that is nice. Okay, I'm gonna just hold. Okay. Oof. Oh. It's oh, not no. what I expected. <laughs> I did not expect that. It looks like super expanded. It looks like it just like combusted. You think it's because... I don't know how to feel about this. That is not what I was looking for. Yeah, so usually when we put glass inside the resin, that maybe it's because this one was domed. Maybe, that's what I'm thinking. That's the only reason I can see it looking like that. Because I thought it was just going to be like a floating dome. Yeah. But now it's just like a dome that expanded. It looks really bad. It almost looks <laughs> like an air pocket trapped yeah, in there. Yeah, exactly. It looks like a huge air pocket. I really do like the uh, indent. It looks weird. It looks weird, but I thought there would be more of the elastic thing, but it's uniform. So moral of the story, resin floats in resin. Don't do it, guys. And don't use a circular dome if you want it to disappear yep. within the resin. Nope, didn't happen the way mm. I wanted it to. I think there's just way too much light reflecting on it, so that's not helping. It's not as cute as I wanted it I know, to be. but maybe with the light it will help. I don't think so. Don't <laughs> We're gonna try them with the light at the end. Okay. And now for mine, I feel like today's results are going to be very disappointing. It looks so much better in my head. I think the lesson also, the other lesson, there's multiple lessons. This is our first time, so I think using a vacuum pot, vacuum chamber, would have been a great idea, at least I think in my case. For the bubbles. Yeah. Do you need help? I probably do. All right, let's do this. All right. You like oh, bubbles out of my booty? <laughs> Hold on. She, she thick. She thick. Oh my god, it feels Are like it's gonna break. Look it's like this. you're almost birthing it. <laughs> so it feels like it is. Okay, <laughs> breathe. Okay, ready? Oof. Push! Push! <laughs> I'm helping. Ooh. Ooh. Birthing. Oh. No, that came out in one there push. There it is. <laughs> oh. Yours turned, turned out better than mine did. Yeah. Although it looks like it shifted in the front. I thought yeah. you put them in the middle. No, I pushed them oh, towards the front. Okay. So the fish absolutely looks adorable. The amount of bubbles I would have said is okay if it were towards the inside, but a lot of them were really towards the, the outside. outside. So it really does show us that having all of these curves makes it harder for the resin to rise to the top because usually the three to one is supposed to remove all the bubble issues. Right. But it almost had a hard time escaping. So lesson learned. Vacuum 
dream chamber. If you have one and you want to make light bulbs, use it. Absolutely. Oh, what is that? Is that your fingerprints? Is your resin cured? Yeah, it's definitely cured. I don't think this is huh. fingerprints. So is the inside of the mold uh Yeah, I think there's a defect in the mold. If you want to look, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to help me. Oh no! <laughs> I tried to <laughs> Switch it back inside out. <laughs> we'll take a look at this later, but I feel like we would need the sand to be much higher, although that was the only sand I had. The fish looks great in there. What about the other way? Yeah, it looks fine. <laughs> It looks very warped. <laughs> See, that's why you bring the I fish think, towards the front. Yeah, I think that's why mine looks wonky too, is that it's really, I tried to center mine, mm -hmm. so it looks all funky. Yeah, so I think what we're gonna do now, at least for me, I'm going to remove the remainder of the moss on top here. And we gonna light them? Yes, but I'm going to first put a little bit of UV resin, but oh, blue. Why? So that when the line shite. The, the line, line shite? When the line shite. <laughs> the light shines. Oh my god. The line shites. The light shites. English totally left me. Oh, uh, okay. I was so serious too. The line shites. The line shites. <laughs> These are my fingerprints. I told you it's your fingers. <gasps> How do I fix that? Am I fixing it? I think I'm fixing it. Are your fingers dirty? Oh, that is so weird. No. I think the resin is still sticky. Sticky. Here, though. I'm just letting you grains know that this has been 24 hours. I think the room is too cold. Probably. Can't. My nose is cold. Oh, no. Oh, you're. Yeah, it's so cold. Are you going to help me with this? Yeah, but let me just say what we're going to do. I'm just going to add a little bit of blue UV resin so that when the light shines. There you go. Good job. It can shine a little bit of blue right on top. Oh, my God. This is hard. Shite the light. <laughs> Shite the light. Okay, let's see. Oh wow! Ah! Oh, you're really in there! It's a lot of pressure! I've been waiting! Oh no! Uh -huh. Okay, you. wow. I was trying to get it. Just be careful. Just pull it. Yeah, like that. Don't get your finger. Okay, good. So the issue is not the mold. 100% is the resin in the room. Your finger's touching it. Touch, 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 All right, so here they are, and let's just bump them a little bit. So this is what they look like with the lights turned on. I'm really excited to see them with the lights turned off. Let's do that. All right, so with the lights turned off, Sika, I'm gonna let you go first. Oh, Ooh. oh, that is pretty. Oh my gosh, you can really see all the bubbles. Though. Yeah, you can. <laughs> and, uh, well, it's an underwater environment. Let's see. Ah! Oh no, Giant! Oh, no. <laughs> it's so dark. Ah! Let's bring it closer. Oh my gosh. Stop touching it. There we go. It is very sensitive, but look at that. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, even the bubbles kind of look like crystals. We should do a galaxy version. <gasps> That'd be that, so cool. But look at that. Dang. Oh my gosh, I'm trying. It's being dramatic. <laughs> You're dramatic. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, did you see yeah. that? Yeah, those flakes, those hollow flakes. That works out right yes. here, I can see it. I really think knowing what we know now, we probably could make a better version. If you grains are interested, let us know in the comment section below if you want a part two. But now for the fish. All right, so I'm dragging my fish to the screen and tap. Oh, that is nice. Again, the bubbles are really annoying. I know that my resin hasn't fully set yet, but having this as a nightlight would be really cool. Yeah, it's still a pretty cute idea. And the fact that it uses an LED battery, perfect for not wanting to worry about unplugging anything. And it's just cute. But yeah, we learned a lot, I think. Bubbles and weird shapes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. And so here they both are in the dark. They look really cute. I know there's so much we could do to improve on them. Oh yeah, for sure. But I do think in the dark they make it look much better with the light on. Yeah, it has this underwatery type vibe. fantasy vibe. But we did notice that the light turns off on its own. So we're not sure if it's a timer or maybe the slightest bump makes it turn off on its own because it's super sensitive. So keep that in mind, e. just in case. Because if you want to use it as a night light and it turns off on its own, you constantly have to go like, hey, smash. Hey, wake up. Hey, hey, wake up. Wake up, because I want to sleep. <laughs> Right? Pretty much. <laughs> As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we are sponsored by Skillshare. For those of you who don't know Skillshare, they are an online learning community with thousands upon thousands of classes to keep creatives like you and I, beginner, intermediate, or advanced, constantly curious to learn more, or to even perfect a skill that we wanted to work on. So whether you're into graphic design, looking for tips on productivity, or thinking to improve your crafts, Skillshare is specifically curated for learners, meaning no ads, no interruptions, and they're always launching new premium classes. And this 
month specifically, I am really, really interested in learning how to make more designer toys. So I'm following Paul Budnitz's class called Beautiful Plastic, Creating a Great Designer Toy, which is a Skillshare original video. And I absolutely love the fact that we go into the history of designer toys and how to create our own. And once you take these classes on Skillshare, that's not where it ends. They also focus on community. So you have a place where you can post your project, discuss them, and just grow as a creative. And hey, they also have new live classes where you can interact with the instructor in real time. So what are you waiting for? Check the link down below because the first 1,000 grains will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Remember, if you want to find Sika, you can find her on Instagram at nerdysister underscore Sika. There you go. And you can find me at nerdycrafter also on Instagram. If you want to watch more resin adventures, I've made a playlist for you right here. You can click and watch quite a few of them that we've gone through. And if you want to watch a Capture Trash review, make sure you check down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.